Okay, I think we are good. So, hello everyone, welcome to this stream. We are, of course, going to be playing XCOM 2. We're continuing the game that we had going last week and in the regular Let's Play before that. I haven't actually touched this game at all since then, so it might take me a minute or two to kind of remember what on earth is going on here. But I'm sure we'll succeed eventually. Now what were we doing? <laughs> Let's have a quick look. So, soldiers, we have a couple of people wounded. We have one who needs a promotion. Why didn't we do that before? Don't know. Maybe we literally just finished the mission I hadn't actually had a chance to check anything. That could well be it. So, you are in green. You look to be a pistolia, so I'm going to take a quick draw. Firing pistol in the first action, no longer empty turn. So you have that, and then you have, no, you have a lightning hand, then you have a quick draw, then you have a regular sniper shot. That's ridiculous. It's three attacks in one round. I'll take it. And you don't need to reload the pistol, of course. How's the sound for everyone? Is everything okay? Ow, and that was my elbow. Right. So we have a couple of people out injured, that should be fine. We have one, oh yeah, we have our first Psy operative in training, which is quite exciting. We need to decrypt the codex data, but I'm going to guess that we have things here that's happening. We can get a free engineer, that would be quite nice. Um, let's have a quick look around first before we make any actual decisions. Supply drop in 18 days, we do need to build the tower here. We do probably have the supply, f uh, maybe not, that might actually cost 150. Black market's open. We were scanning for the alien wreckage, apparently, before we stopped. We have three avatar points, project points, before that kicks off. Were we on our way into North America, or are we trying to go around? Because we need to get here, because there is a one point and a one point. Actually, that extra engineer would be very handy. So we're going to go and grab him first. Has that crashed again? Yes, it has. Don't know why Twitch just keeps on crashing on my laptop. It's very irritating. Start scanning. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. All right, data encryption is done. We got 31 intel for it. Let's have a quick read here. The Advent Datapad is a basic field unit designed for storing and transferring intelligence that the aliens seem otherwise incapable of disseminating through their various communications networks. Although some effort was required to interpret the alien file system and decrypt their data, it seems as though Advent purposefully kept the device's overall function relatively simple. The evidence is little more than circumstantial, but the design of these systems could be some indication of the lower-ranking Advent troops' mental, sorry, overall mental acuity outside of designated tactical scenarios. So basically, they have little autonomy. We could begin working on the plasma rifle or the powered armor. We could start researching the other data cache. You know what? I think I'm going to start that and see if we can pick up another scientist I along the way somewhere. I think I'll that would be a pretty good combination. Geoscape. Well, only take four days as all this. We don't have any outstanding missions, do we? No. And there we go, we got our new engineer. And we need to assign him some work, don't we? Alright, back to the geoscape. Oh no, we didn't assign. Ah! That's completely thrown me now. Need to assign Commander, some work I first. You recruiting new staff for the engineering team. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. I could start doing some resistance comms, which would allow us to expand, you know? I think I might do that. That's what, plus two? Yeah, so we can go up to eight now. And then we can switch them for a gremlin once the workshop's done. 
or we could have you just working over here and then wait the five days for that. Um, no, let's start expanding our network, I think. Much better choice. Right. So who is it that we need to make contact with? We need to make contact with Australia and with Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe probably more so, so if we go to Western Europe and then Eastern Europe, that's the two contacts lots used up right there. There is an avatar thing here and there's the special ops thing as well. So we're going to start that. Three to five days, that is acceptable. Alright, start making contact if you would. Okay, alien data cache decryption is done. And this appears to be precisely the same information as last time. I didn't actually look how much intel we got there for that, but I'm sure we got a decent amount. Right, what do we start working on next? We could begin another data decryption, or we could actually start on some of these items. I think I'm going to start on a plasma rifle. I'll New guns always sound good. Immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Alright. New target. Let's have a look. Gorilla Ops. We can do a difficult thing here, which means that reduces alien... See, we don't actually want to do that, because we want the alien facility counters to go up so we can blow more stuff up. Oh, this is a very difficult... reduces retaliation counter, that's harsh. Or re regularly difficult. Means that the intel cost won't go up, and we are kind of expanding our operations fairly quickly right now, so not having that would be quite nice. And this is only a difficult rather than very difficult. We get supply for that one, or intel, a lot of intel for this, so I think we're going to do the new Brazil Setting mission. For Brazil. Off we go. Alright. So, we are going to remove all of you guys build our team from scratch, so I can remember what else is going on here. Get all the utility items, we'll get all the armor, and we'll get all of the weapons. Okay. First up. Oh, there's something else I need to show you as well, actually. Uh, let's just quickly edit to the Viking. Because there was a new DLC that was dropped, which apparently increases the number of props and things you can have. So, let's take a quick look. Yeah, there's loads more. Uh, no, there's not. Okay. Arms? Nope. I'm sure a whole load of new props just landed in the new DLC, but I'm fairly sure I have it as well. But apparently it's not installed. Huh. Irritating. Wait, that's not showing. No matter. On with the game. Combat seems to have focus perception and focus. So perception would be good to use on someone, but we'll need to think about that a bit more. Right, so this, what type of mission is this? This is a hack the workstation, so we definitely want a specialist. Probably our hacking specialist, which would be Raleki. And this is actually a good opportunity to get rid of Shaken. So we are going to take you for that. I think I might also take our medic specialist. We're going two specialists on this one. This is a hacking mission, so a little bit of cover I think is a good idea. We are going to grab a sharpshooter. and We don't want to go with all lieutenants captains, so we'll probably go with a sergeant sharpshooter. Uh, hacking usually means running forward quite a lot, so I think we want sight. No, we want profit. You're the pistol guy, aren't you? No, you're long range. Ah, that's fine. Oh yeah, you're the pistol one. Okay. We definitely want a Grenadier. Could take Matrani, could take Zoo, could take Mr. Dundee. Um, I don't really want to take like the A-Team for this one, so I think I'm going to bring one of these, train them up, we'll take Zoo, because you're named after a sub 
subscriber. Welcome back, Reliki. Okay. Then we want a second grenadier because I love grenadiers and they are awesome. This is a difficult. Um, I'm wondering if I'm going a little too light here. I'm not sure. Don't really want to take Matrani or Viking. Viking's no longer shaken, which is excellent. I think I'm going to take one of these guys. We'll take Bono. Should we take Bono or should we take a real newbie? I think we'll take a real newbie. Solid enough. And then finally, I think we want a Ranger. For this one, I think we can probably do it. Pogo. A little bit of scouting out ahead. I think Pogo was our scout, right? Yes, Pogo is our uber scout. Okay, so that's the team. Two specialists, two grenadiers, a ranger and a sniper. That looks good to me. Now we need to equip them. So who's going to get the big armor stuff? Probably the two grenadiers. We'll go the, uh, what are they called, exosuits. That's not what I meant. And then loadout. Here we are. Predator, exo. And he also gets exo. Put the spider suit on the sniper. So you get a bit more mobility. You can move around a bit more. You know what, I, I should probably make some more spider suits so that our ranger can use one too. Having the extra mobility on a ranger would be quite nice, plus the dodge chance because they're always in close quarters combat. I would assume that dodge comes in against uh, melee attacks, I'm, I'm going to guess. Okay, that's you. Now you, which one? Raliki, you are my main hacker, so you're going to get this skull thingy hack thing hack jack. That's the one. Meanwhile, Bussy will get the medkit. In fact, I could do these from here. I could do making some more medkits as well, I think. We have the Talon rounds, which do the extra crit chance and damage. Now, someone suggested that I should maybe take these on the on someone else rather than the shotgun guys, because the shotguns tend to have massive crit anyway. And yeah, I, I take that point. That's that's fair. And tracer is better shooting, which I may want to take on a gunner. Yeah, you're a shredder. So, oh wait, no, you're an EXO, so maybe not. We want the full grenades with you. So maybe we'll take the trace on you. And then shredder on you. I think that's oops, a better idea. So yeah, we are going for the all-out uber shotgun blast boom splat. And we'll give you a grenade. Acid grenade? Can I see the shadow thingy from there? Viper, Elite Officer, Heavy Lancer, Elite Shield Bearer, Codex. So there are no mechs on, on this mission. So I don't need the Acid Grenade, I don't think. Right, so that is the ammunition done, that is the armor done. Now we need to give you the guns. So... You're probably going to be my main assault rifle person. Load out. Magnetic. Okay, you're going to get this one. Advanced stock and advanced hair trigger. And you are going to get the other assault rifle, which I think is just the stock. Yes. I don't have any more advanced stocks, do I? No. 
And then sniper, you're gonna get the Uber sniper. So I do actually have quite a few sniper rifles for some reason, with various mods. We're gonna get the Uber shotgun. Laser sight and advanced head trigger. What's the other one? Not as upgraded. Okay. And then the two gunners. So you are going to have my... Uh, you're the shredder, so you're going to be shooting more often. You're also a suppressor, so maybe you want the bigger clip. I'm not expecting you to miss as much. Advanced stock, expanded magazine. Just stock. I think they all have stocks. Yeah, they all have the stock. I'm going to give you the magazine. I'll give the other guy the autoload. I think that sounds good enough to me. Cool. So, grenade, grenade, rocket, rocket, or XOXO. Spider suit, tracer rounds, grenade, skull, heal, grenade. Grenade, explodey gun, bullet thing, smash. All of you have yellow guns, that looks good. Let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. Solid Tov looks so stupid with the ski mask and the lavender colour. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hey, if Solid Tov was a uh, subscriber rather than just a random name. In fact, Solid Tov is a random name. I haven't actually given you a proper name, I think. No, Solid Tov is the surname. To the site, so we'll have to neutralize any threats to lock down the area. Recover whatever you can. We need that data if we're going to stop their progress. Neutralize all targets. Hack the workstation. We have two people that can do the ranged hack, so we should be okay. Touch wood. And our hacking guy is shaken, so we need to try and keep him out of the fights and just use them for the hacking itself. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Alright. And we start on a rooftop, which is great. We actually have a decent coverage, like sniper coverage, of the map. We know that there is a group of enemies there. Is that a turret? Or is that just like a camera? I have no idea. Kind of looks like it's just one of those. Alright, so which one's Solitov? That would be you. Yeah, you haven't actually earned your name yet. Okay. So, Ranger, that would be you. Nope, you're the sniper. That would be you then. Pogo. I think I can basically afford to just run straight forward with you all the way up to here. Or shall I do this a little more cautiously? Let's err on the side of caution. Right, so we just have some civilians down there. We have a turret here. I think we can basically just jump down and get into cover. Uh, maybe some aliens over here, so this might be exposed. But I think there's a better chance of them being over here. So, yes, I'm going to... Or, 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 this is probably a better idea, actually. We grab our sniper and move the sniper over to this spot. And then they'll have coverage over there. Or, um, we could also leave the sniper back here, which would... then this isn't in the way. Could even have the sniper further back. Not really. You know what, I think I do want the sniper here, otherwise this will get in the way. In which case we want to move someone else up that way. Maybe the medic? Bussy? Which one's the other one? That's Ralicky, isn't it? Chance to earn... Yes, Ralicky. You're on. You need to get this rid of the shaken thing. It's made you kind of rubbish. <laughs> so we're going to stick Bussy up here, just because he's still in cover. Got it. Allows us to have a look around. 
Alright, so there's no one over here, so I didn't need the uh, sniper overwatch for that area, which is good. Although, the map is quite wide, there could well be more groups out this way. But I'm not too concerned about that, I'm, I'm going to come along the bottom of this map along here, and then up here. So having the sniper there, I think would give us a better overwatch position. So, sniper, profit. And you are my long range sniper, in fact, we'll stick you there. And this is a neutralize all enemies, this is not an extract mission. So we, we can just move forwards. <coughs> Alright, Raliki, I think I'm going to move you up to here and then just put you on an overwatch. And then you two can basically just move up probably to here, and then you'll be coming along the very bottom with our shotgunner a little higher. So I'd quite like the tank to be a bit further forwards too. Let me stick the tank up here, and then the shotgun in between, and then the other gunner down there. And there we go, the first... Ready to smash is, that. is that an environment suit? Maybe something that can't handle our atmosphere? Those emissions could be toxic. I advise caution, Commander. Okay, so we're up against something which shoots toxic stuff. That sounds really cool. Not. So you're going to go here, or you're in some heavy cover. We should all still be in cover, so we won't lose our concealment. And Pogo, you can jump down here. You are actually my covert guy, so I may not want to reveal you straight away. Hopefully Roger these two that. don't move. That'll kind of suck if they do. Oh, well, the aliens didn't even move. That is probably a good thing for them. So, Sniper could actually take a shot. 100% chance, thanks to the advanced scope and the tracer. Wow, you have a really good aim. I think I want to move a bit further forwards. You would be in a position to shoot there. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I want to see this guy. Like, how tough is he, really? Andromedon. I think he was called, right? Viper. Andromedon. Okay. 100% chance of hitting. 10% chance, no, 0% chance of a crit. Lots of hit points and 4 armor. So we're probably best opening this up with a rocket rather than a grenade, because rockets I think shred more. And then basically have everyone else on overwatch to just nail them. Especially if we can hurt the snake as much as possible, that would be excellent. So we're going to jump you to here, I think. You're still in a shooting position? You are, though not against the andro, andro thing, Majiggy. Um, we want you to be close. You have a shotgun after all. So we're going to jump you up to here. Except you won't get revealed, so you're not necessarily going to actually shoot at anything. So we're going to leave you for the minute. And we're going to put you forwards to here. I think that's a better plan. And then that will allow our two specialists to cover back here. They have stock, so it doesn't matter so much if they miss. Maybe to this. Heading out. And then if we need him, we have the ranger who will be able to get a second hit in, essentially. And we'll move you to here. Oh wait, there's a third. Oh, there's another viper. Irritating. Orders confirmed. On the move. Something like this. So who has the better shot? 75... wait, no. 64% chance of hitting, or... 61. So you're going to start with the rocket. You're going to overwatch. I'm on it. So are you. Roger. I've got my eyes and you. Affirmative. Covering now. You're going to rocket. You're not going to do anything. And you're going to overwatch as well. I know you can hack something, but I don't really see the point on the very, very second turn. Got it covered. Right. Is that just you two left? It is. I wish it 
said how much these things shred. So we can rocket, like here. In fact, rocket blows up cars, doesn't it? So both of those will take huge damage from this. We'll try. Bring in the pain. Yes. <laughs> squish. Very, very squish. I, I fully applaud that squish. And we got two, rid of the two of the armor as well. First shot. Six damage crit. Very nice. Second shot. Miss, but had a stock so it didn't matter. Third shot. Six damage. Is that as far as he got? He's he's still just standing. Oh, he did die. We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? Um. <laughs> uh. I think I'm going to move up to here and then overwatch you in shotgun. But you're not going to shoot unless you're concealed. I wish there was a way of force overwatching. Or we could just shoot, I guess. We are in range. And we can pop back into concealment afterwards, but I don't think it's hugely important if that or that we do. I don't know what that guy's going to do. What is it? They're on to me! No, we had another overwatch. Okay, excellent. Please hit. Thank you. It's dead. <laughs> exactly, what the... <laughs> I quite agree. <laughs> so, thank you, Zoo. You kind of bailed us out there, because I have no idea what that thing was. I don't usually try and prioritise uh, autopsies, but we might need to on that one. Right, Relicky. Can you please hack that thing? And is there anything juicy in it? Let's have a look, shall we? And you should be an uber hacker. You are my combat hacker anyway. Plus you have the skull track. Plus you're a specialist. Yeah, 110 tech score, I thought so. Uh, squad aim would be nice, but... Nah, they're not that good. 99% chance of success. It's basically guaranteed, but it uses up one of his moves, which I'd rather not use. So if we kind of find ourselves with nothing to do, then maybe we will. I think I'd rather that thing died than finding out any ugliness. I mean, I'm hoping to like do an autopsy or something, which will reveal the surprise to me instead. Unless, of course, you want Raleki to go up and stand next to him next time. I can do that. <laughs> Right, where's my scout? There's my scout. I could actually pop you back into concealment. Which would allow me to have a better look at that. Though we know that there are no mechs, so... I think it's mostly just going to be regular soldiers and maybe vipers at this point. I... Do I want to run you forwards? No, I don't want to run Here you I forwards. Come. Nothing? Really? No, oh, that is literally just a TV camera. That's the stage. Uh, is that like the stage that What's His Face uses when broadcasting about the evils of XCOM? Probably. Alright, let's just bring people up then. We have still got six turns. We're actually really close and we can range hack, so not too concerned about it. Let's bring you up to Whatever here. You say. <laughs> Yeah, Raleki is saying I don't need to be so drastic as suiciding his character to find out what they do. <laughs> okay, let's bring you up. We'll stick you here, I think. Affirmative, moving out. As long as you don't spot anything else. 
On your order. I hope it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> 